make this quick. Uh, last night I was speaking uh, with one of my athletes and he was giving us some props about uh, Peter and our bottlenecks project and he said one of the, one of the things that we didn't cover um, was that time that we feel guilty. We have that training guilt when we're taking time away from family or time away from work or business. And do you know what? That guilt is real and I believe many of us feel it. And I was thinking about that and talking through it last night and I've had it many times myself, whether I feel guilty when I'm training, that I'm not I'm taking time out from the business or taking time out from the family. Um, but there's many times where you've culled that training and then not put the time into there. So then you have to reflect and question what is it and um, what's really helped is chunking time and focusing on the moment when you're there. So when you're in training, respect it and be there in training. When you're with the family, get rid of social media, get rid of the phone and be around the family. Like today I took Max skiing and yeah, I took him skiing from 11 a.m. this morning. I think we got back at just after three this afternoon. It was a lot of fun and I didn't think about anything else than skiing with Mac. And um, that makes me feel really, really good. And um, we had a hell of a lot of fun um, for the first day, his first day of the season here. And that was great. And how I got around not having any guilt that it was a work day, yeah, sure, I've built a business that allows me that luxury and that freedom, but normally I'd feel guilty that I've taken time out from from business, even though I'm spending a hell of a lot of family time. And to be honest, um, because I got to bed a little bit too late last night, I missed my training session. And rather than feel guilty um, that that didn't get done, I got up, got my reset, so I looked after the body a little bit, and then I, I got stuck into some work, so I knew it was done, and my responsibilities cleared, so I could have a 100% focus on, on Mac and, and have that fun family time. And, and once this is done um, and edited and uploaded, because there's those things I have to do, then the rest of the um, evening is, is gonna be spent with, with the family. And I know there's gonna be times, there's gonna be some time blocks over the weekend where I'm still working. And um, you know, that's just the price I'm willing to pay to be able to go out and do those things um, and, and not have guilt attached to it. and. You know, everyone's always looking for balance, and I don't think balance really, truly exists. Um, you know, the seesaw is never flat, right? So it's always going to be skewed to something in life. And I really feel um, something that really resonates me, and I don't believe it's selfish. Is I know that if I'm getting a certain amount of training in, now obviously this can go too far, but that's a time when you've got to reflect and go ask yourself some some hard questions. But you know, if I'm doing a certain amount of training. I'm happier, Charlotte's happier, I'm more productive in work, and I'm much more productive and there with family, right? And I'm healthier and happier for it, and that's a big, big thing. And obviously you can go over the edge of that, um, but there's gonna be times, and you know, I always just go back to that, you know, really learning to be there in each of the things that we're doing, and time block. Time blocking, I think, is, is an awesome, idea and something that really works if you work it where you sit down and plan out your week and it's very easy if you work a job where it's fairly set work hours when you're an entrepreneur or a businessman things are all over the place but you can if you can really um, systemize what you do and, and time block and focus in on those time blocks it really gets rid of the guilt so um, Hopefully this little tip and strategy helps. I've struggled with it in the past. I remember struggling with it back in 2008, leading between Kona and Bustleton and trying to run two businesses and, and train. And I was training a little bit more then and I didn't have, we didn't have Mac back then. So um, 
it was a little bit easier without having a little person to look after and that's um, you know as anyone that is a parent little kids are very needy and um, they always want you to play with them or do things with them and back then it was really just about Charlotte and I and and trying to run businesses to sustain what we wanted to do and 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 build those at the same time and I really felt struggled and felt guilty that I was taking time away from the business that was needed um, to live the life that we wanted to do and um, one thing I found that was really important when you're feeling that way, if you've got some long-term consistency of training under you, like it's more important that there's the drip, drip, drip of training rather than big volume sessions here and little ones there, another big one here because you get through it or a big block of volume and then you fall apart at the seams. If it's got this constant drip, drip, drip of training that's sustainable, well, missing some time here or there so you can put some focus into those other areas um, is not going to hurt you. Um, and a lot of times it's going to help you. And I remember missing multiple sessions over that um, eight weeks between those two events, especially getting closer. And I think it was somewhere between guilt and fear of my big, hairy, audacious goals. And you know what? At the end of the day, um, I surpassed what I wanted to do. You know, still broke nine hours and I won my age group there. And um, I was very, very happy. And I missed a significant amount of sessions because I was dealing with that guilt, that training guilt. But I had so much behind me and so much of the drip, drip, drip of consistency that I was able to do that. So, you know, plan out your life, spend time planning out your day, your weeks, and then just be there when you're there. And I know that's gonna help with the guilt. We're, all, we're not gonna always, we'll never truly get rid of it, but we can mitigate it and make ourselves feel a lot better and uh, make the right decision in the moment. And uh, the moment is where you're gonna live. So life is now, press play.